Alright, what's up everybody? We're back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one. We have breaking news. Mikael Bridges is being traded to the New York Knicks. Um, so we're going to talk about it here in this little, I guess, impromptu late night video that I'm doing here. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. If you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn notifications, do also like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really upset a lot. Uh, join the membership. If you want to learn more about the membership, this video on my channel explaining all of it, you can go back and watch that. Link to my Twitter, TikTok, stuff like that. Description down below. And uh, yeah, don't waste any more of your time. Let's get right into it. So literally, this just happened. Like literally five minutes ago, my time, this happened. I was like on my phone, just doing whatever, watching videos, like... I was actually on like Twitter looking and all of a sudden the Woj tweet pops up. I'll read the tweet exactly where it says breaking the Brooklyn Nets have agreed in principle on a trade to send forward Mikhail Bridges to the New York Knicks for Boyan Bogdanovich, four unprotected first round picks, a protected first round pick via Bucks, an unprotected pick swap, and a second round of sell ESPN. And yeah, Mikhail Bridges is going to be a New York Knicks. He's moving across the state so not, not a very long you know road trip you know just has to kind of pack his things and have a little what 20 minute drive i don't know i don't live in new york i live close but not in new york um this happened 10 o'clock my time 10 p.m so a little late night you know news breaking a little late night woge bomb but mikhail bridge is going to new york very excited for honestly a lot of people involved in this trade we'll talk about from the knicks perspective first they get mikhail bridges um, there's no secret that the New York Knicks have maybe been feeling out, maybe trying to go get Mikael Bridges, not maybe just Mikael Bridges, but that the Knicks maybe try to go star hunting again. With how good this team is right now, adding one more piece could be the key to this team. And while Mikael Bridges isn't a star caliber like other people that could have been on the market, he's just a really, really good fit. He's a guy that's going to really fit in with Tom Thibodeau over there and what they do with the hard work, the hustle, the defense. You know, he's Mr. Iron Man as well. So, I mean, what amazing pickup for the Knicks, especially not giving up anything player-wise. All they gave up was Boyan McDonough, who only played, what, two games in the playoffs last year and didn't really play too well when he got to the Knicks at the trade deadline last year. Really, they gave up more draft capital. But they did all this just to get, you know, Mikael Bridges, I guess. And they fit, feel like Mikael is going to be a really good fit. I like this from Mikael as well. He gets to be back on a winning team where he's going to really be maximized like he did with the Phoenix Suns. And Brooklyn just wasn't really it. I mean, he had the, when he first got traded there, he had an explosion, average like 27 a game that second half of the season. But last year, we definitely saw, you know, that he's he's not fit to be a number one, which is okay because he has the traits and the play and all that stuff to be an amazing complimentary player to a winning team. And that's what exactly what he's going to do with the Knicks. And the Villanova boys are back. Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, Mikael Bridges, the Villanova squad is finally complete. They are all together in New York. What a fun story to see. You know, Mikael gets to be back with his boys and gets to be on a winning team. This is very interesting for the Knicks. Uh, they do give up, again, a lot of draft capital. Um, I'm trying to find the woe shoot. He said the Knicks are sending four and protected first. 2025, 2027, 2029, 2031 unprotected first round picks. A protected first from Milwaukee in 2025. A 2020 unprotected pick swap and a second round pick from next year. They also get back a 2026 second round pick with McHale. But yeah, a lot of draft picks. Four first round picks. Basically, four, for, four unprotected first. A protected first and an unprotected pick swap. That's in 2028, so in like four years from now. So they're going all in, kind of. Not maybe all all in, but they're going in on the fact like we want Mikhail. We think he's really going to come in with this team, and he's going to fit, and he's going to be. He maybe could be the missing piece we need to bring this team to the level that we want to get it to. We're going to do it. You know where we're doing it. We're not breaking up this team, this core that we have. So take our picks, Brooklyn, and there you go. So that's interesting for the Knicks' perspective, um, but I like it. And also thinking about this for the Knicks, what does this mean for OG? Am I overthinking? Like, what does this mean? Does this? mean og staying or does this mean maybe they think og might be out the door so let's get mikhail to replace him or they're just keeping both of them because now i guess do you put mikhail and og in the line together so it's brunson mikhail og julius and depending on if you could sign isaiah hardenstein back you know because hardenstein's a free agent he might get a lot of money the knicks if they sign him back 
because there has been a lot of talks around the last couple weeks saying that OG is going to have a big market for agency and he might get paid paid not just a regular he might get a pretty big bag in Frenchy and he might be looking for a very big big bag and I don't know maybe is this a play am I overthinking I don't know I feel like am I overthinking into thinking that you know are the Knicks doing this move maybe to just in case OG doesn't come back this is their backup move and they're waiting for now they're not going to wait for later you know or this opportunity going out and getting it and then they're going to worry about OG when OG goes. So Mikhail's going to be up for a contract in like another year or two as well. So they're going to have to pay him um, the, like, the, um, I'm sorry. A trade literally just happened right now to, with the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> so, um, hold on. Wait. Let me, let, okay, let me finish the Mikhail Bridges trade and then we get to that. Woj is just going crazy right now. Um, another trade just happened with the Brooklyn Nets. Mikhail. Mikhail, Mikhail Bridges. Mikhail Bridges. Mikhail Bridges. Um. He is, it's interesting to see what OG, so if they keep OG, the Knicks could potentially have a lineup with Jalen Brunson, Mikael Bridges, OG Ananobi, Julius Randle, and Isaiah Hornstein with Miles McBride, Josh Hart, and Dante DiVincenzo on their bench, and they still have the 24 and 25 pick, and Mitchell Robinson. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, New York. For the Brooklyn side, I love it because I think they're going, I think they're finally doing it. They're finally going into a rebuild. There's been so much talk this offseason and since the season started about, like, we want to keep Mikhail. We want to build a big team around Mikhail Bridges and stuff like that. Like, we want we want to do all this. Like, we don't want to trade Mikhail. We think Mikhail's going to be a star piece and all this stuff. And it was just so annoying because it's like, bro, like, this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> this is not going anywhere. Mikhail Bridges as your number one, all this stuff, are not going to, this is not going to do anything. Maybe they're waiting for a star in two years. Who's coming to Brooklyn? Like, you know? So I think this is finally the Nets saying, giving up and saying, you know what? We're, this isn't going to work. We're going to put ourselves in a big hole. Let's just get rid of Keith McHale. And now getting rid of McHale, I think that means everybody's out the door. Cam Johnson, DFS. Who knows what happens with Nick Claxton this offseason? Like, this might be a full-on rebuild in Brooklyn, which I love. I, I think this is the right way to go with the um brooklyn nets and now apparently another trade happened with rose just tweeting that the hold on let me read the brooklyn has a deal with houston re to return the nets 2026 first round pick for 2027 phoenix suns first round pick rockets also acquired 2025 right swaps to houston okc so basically the nets are swapping more picks the nets are the brooklyn nets are trading a 2025 suns pick swap 2027 suns first rounder and a first rounder and swap in 2029 to the rose and rockets for their own 2025 pick swap and 2026 first round pick so the nets are getting their pits back from houston in the james which is another thing as oh well, the nets don't have any picks in the draft i think the only team in the draft that don't have a pick and now they just traded mikhail for four or five first round picks and now apparently they are going out and trading their future trading future first round picks in 27 and 29 to go get 2025 picks so they're getting their own picks back because they realize now we're gonna suck next year so let's go get our own picks back from houston so we're not in this hole okay so yeah i think yeah this is the brooklyn Nets saying we're going into a rebuild this is the brooklyn Nets saying we're rebuilding and i love it i love it yes brooklyn this is this is the way rebuild and they're starting by acquiring all draft capital. So they just acquired a, the Knicks, like six first round picks from the Knicks. And they just acquired two more first round picks back from themselves as well. And they're sending out picks from like 2029, where it's like five years from now. Who knows? And they're like Phoenix picks. So who knows what the Phoenix Suns are going to look like in 2029 and 2027 and stuff like that. So wow yeah stuff's going down i was honestly waiting like this morning i was like dang i'm kind of surprised a trade hasn't happened yet you know like a trade or anything from draft night doesn't happen and these aren't really draft night deals because no current draft picks are being traded but we got some movement so mikhail bridges is a nick the brooklyn nets are rebuilding let me know in the comments how you feel if you're a knicks fan a nets fan a rockets fan i guess apparently any nba fan let me know how you feel in the comments down below but yeah, it's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you do like the content around here, consider subscribing. 
like turn notifications do also like that i'd really appreciate it, it really upset a lot and uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow